Uh, it is well known to the shipping community that the Rule B is no longer available to secure the pecuniary claims. It is therefore necessary to look for instruments alternative to the magic bullet of the Rule B. So we should firstly understand if existing instruments can, can be better used or it is time to call for new instruments. As far as I know, some investigation are currently underway in the United States. What do we do in Europe? We all know that the free circulation of orders for payment of pecuniary claims is considered fundam fundam fundamental by the European, European Union. European Regulation 44 2001 concerning the recognition and enforcement of a judgment has already been enforced for many years. And three years ago, a European regulation of 2006, creating an European procedure for seeking an order for payment also came into force. The aim of such a regulation is to permit the free circulation of European orders for payment concerning uncontested pecuniary claims. However, the above results would be worth little or nothing without a further fundamental target, the successful recovery of the pecuniary claim. For this reason, in July <coughs> 2011, three months ago, the European Commission proposed a new regulation now under consideration of the member states, creating a European order for the attachment of bank accounts, which would place a creditor in a position to secure a pecuniary claim by seizing the money of the debtor standing in one or several bank accounts. Such attachment order, which is similar to our conservative Caesar, issued in one member state would be recognized and enforced in all other member states without the need for a declaration of enforceability. Having said that, let's consider one case, peculiar case. Italian company called Naples enters in the time charter with Ukrainian company called Kiev for the vessel Green. Shortly thereafter, the same company Kiev, disponent owner of the vessel Red, enters in the time charter with the same Italian company Naples. Both time charters are governed by English law and are subject to English jurisdiction. The time charter of RAID also provides that hire is to be paid to a Luxembourg bank account. After a few months, Kiev experiences financial problems and does not pay the hire. So Naples terminates the green time charter and claims $600,000 for unpaid hire and damages. However, under the other time charter, Naples must pay the hire for the vessel read. The question is, can, can Naples ask an Italian court to issue an order of attachment of the money of the Kiev standing in the Luxembourg bank account as security of the pecuniary claim? My answer, yes, but only when the regulation creating an European order for the attachment of a bank account will be in force. So in the future. Then another question. Can Naples ask to the Italian court an order of attachment in its own hands of the IR to be paid but not paid yet under the time charter to secure the pecuniary claim against Kiev? Alternatively, if the pecuniary claim is assigned by Naples to a third party, can the SNE ask to the Italian court an attachment order of the hire due from Naples to Kiev? It should be considered that the Italian court issuing the attachment orders that the party receiving the attachment cannot dispose of the money attached without court's order. That means that any disposal of the money under Italian law should be unlawful. Well, as Italian lawyer, I say that under Italian law, the above attachment order can be granted. However, 
Once the attachment order is enforced, could Kiev allege under English law that Naples remain obliged to pay the attached ire and that the failure to pay the ire would amount to a repudiatory breach of contract, notwithstanding the court's order. I guess that the opinion of an English council could be like this. Under English law, the attachment order issued by Italian court does not exonerate Naples from paying the ire to Kiev. And this is because English arbitrators cannot refuse the enforcement of a contractual obligation under a contract governed by English law unless the, its performance is unlawful under English law. However, I would ask to the English Council, what happens if the attachment order is registered for enforcement in England under the judgment regulation? <coughs> I believe that in principle, the attachment order issued by Italian court, once enforced in England, could, under English law, excuse a failure by Naples to make the payment of attached ire to Kiev, since at that time, the performance of the contractual obligation would be unlawful also under English law. In conclusion, it is unquestionable that maritime parties are peripatetic and their assets are often transitory. That's true, but the creditor has the right to rely on any possible and reasonable action to catch the fugitive debtor. That's all. I think so. What do you think? What do you think? Thank you. <laughs>